Hello everybody, welcome back to another Don Machi Memoria Freeze video. My name is D Free, and for this one, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Sprouting Devotion event. Now, I already put up a video on the banner. Uh, it was kind of all over the place, to be honest. I'm trying to work on getting these videos better for you guys as I learn this game and put these videos out in a timely manner for you guys. But we are gonna start off by showing you guys the login bonus, because that's apparently what's up here. And it's actually a pretty cool login bonus. I mean, the Iris, of course, the Volleys. You get that gold ticket, and we also get the Hero Fallen. So, a pretty solid login bonus for a two week period from uh, 412 to 426. Let's go ahead and move on. But I wanted to talk about something very, very specific from. Uh... Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Obento this? Okay, cool. So, I wanted to talk about something very, very specific, though. Okay, so you know how there's a new event, right? You know. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay, so the event. The Sprouting Devotion event right here. So this one is interesting because when it comes down to this one, it actually has a gacha system, which is a little bit different, but you basically grind the event and then you get the uh, familiar medals and you use those to go ahead and do some pulls. So in fact, let's go ahead and see if we can get that three-star ticket. Of course not. But that being said, the good news is at least they show you the rate for it. It's 2.8. looks like it's gone up, so that's, that's a thing. But that being said, it's just a fun little side way to kind of get some more extra rewards from this event by playing it. But really, I wanted to talk about Naza. Let's go ahead and go over to the exchange. Okay, so when it comes down to this, you are able to play the event, grind the in-game materials, and get another character. And if you want to, you can also limit break that character. Said character is Naza. Let's go ahead and get out of there. I just wanted to show you exactly where that was if you didn't know. Uh, that doesn't need to be here, excuse me. It is actually in the shop section and then the event exchange. But let's go ahead and move over to the character section. So when it comes down to it, Naza is actually a really, really good assist character. Uh, I need to come down to the albums. Excuse me, I'm kind of clicking all over the place. But she's a really, really good assist character. Yes, assist. So she is not a character that would be uh, on the forefront fighting. She is the character assist. But let's go down to her. She's the very, very last one in the entries here. So here we have Silver Pharmacist Naza Ursuisu. Ursuisu? I think I got that right. Either way, right? This is how she is naturally. A very, very good physical attack support. Also has a solid HP stat. Aside from that, solid strength and agility stats. So she's not a bad unit, just naturally. But here's how she also starts off with her status skill. So, uh, well, skill, excuse me. I, I clicked on status and it kind of just, you know, brain farted me. But anyway, Child of the Medigod Plus. So what this is, is it allows her to go ahead and buff your allies' HP. You know, HP regen by 8% per turn. Now, here's why this is such a great thing. There are a few other units that can do this. Uh, namely, I think there's two others actually. A mid and there is a Mayak, however you pronounce his name. Uh, we'll show them in just a minute. But those guys are able to do this, basically. And this is such a good thing because when it comes to the newer content that came to the game, such as the uh, Rampage mode and things of that nature, the two new modes that basically came, they're all about longevity. And it's really interesting when you think about it. So that's cool that they came in tandem with a character that is able to regenerate HP. So if you use a uh, character like this as an assist alongside a character that can, you know, regen MP, for example, all of a sudden, when it comes to Rampage, you can play through some of those later on stages with a little bit more ease, right? And and that's pretty awesome. So she's a really, really good character for that. Now, if you were to go ahead and grind at the limit breaks, uh, unfortunately, when it comes to this character, she's just like any other character in the game, regardless of being free to play or not, in that she does use a lot of resources to max limit break. But if you were to go ahead and get her max limit broken, I mean, you can kind of just see her stats as they differ per limit break, but all the way done, Level 80, she becomes an A-class assist for strength types. Also, that 321 and uh, 1118 HP stat over there. So if we bounce over to her skills now, it changes to 10% HP++. plus plus. So she is really, really good as an HP regeneration unit. Now, this is indexed to the unit's max HP on a per-unit basis. So on the team that you are on, it is full ally. So every single one of your characters that is out there will get 10% of their max HP regenerated uh, for that turn, once per turn, basically. So that is awesome. It could have been something like, oh, you know, just one character, the one that she's equipped to, the hero she's equipped to, the adventurer. But no, it's every single character. And again, that is incredibly useful when it comes to playing Ender, Ender, excuse me, harder content uh, towards the end game of the game. So I wanted to show you guys the other characters I was kind of talking about. So here's Mike, God Neighbor. He's able to do 8%, and then he changes to being 10%. Now, the big difference between this character and the other one we were just looking at is, as you see, 
he is actually a magic support so he's really really good as a support unit next to the or equipped to as an assist under a you know mage basically right so that's where he's really good or a healer you know characters that use that magic stat he's really really good with them but again 10 percent here and that is one of the things that was really really prevalent as well in the uh, war game so keep that in mind you really want to make sure that you have a character like that and what better way to do it than to get the free one <laughs> now like i said it is pretty intensive if you were to try to max limit breaker but that additional two percent may save your bacon sometimes now there is another character she's going to be up here somewhere i want to kind of uh find her before we move on amid where you at girl where you at somebody probably already saw you and i didn't see you there you are now this one is the best one <laughs> uh when it comes to there's also a hero or i keep saying hero but there's also an adventurer that is a mid as well and she's a healer too but this one is the best one here's why she already starts off as an a <laughs> and as she progresses that goes into ss territory for her magic ability she's a really really good mage support uh and she does 20 percent <laughs> she literally does twice as much but the issue with her is that she is a premium one in that she is a four star assist aka a one percent chance at that unit so yeah unless she's featured on a banner you're almost guaranteed to not get her so yeah just putting that out there an incredible unit but for all intents and purposes, this character will get you through basically everything. Now, when it comes down to it, another question is whether or not that is something that can stack. So, simple answer is no. HP regen is not one of the things that could potentially stack for you. Um, honestly, most of the assists don't really stack. But if we go ahead and take on the event, I'm still kind of working on that one. But let's come over to this event. We're going to go over to Very Hard. If you're wondering how to grind these, just keep playing the hardest stage available to you. Uh, as you get deeper in, they start dropping better, you know, rates for the uh, stuff for the, uh, the event items, basically. So as you play through, it gets a lot better. So this is the team I was playing with, and I wanted to test this out. So naturally, you would think, okay, well, I have both of these on here. That would be a 16% regen because they both are offering 8% when it comes down to both of these first couple of assist characters under Lafia and Riveria. But no, that is not how it works, in fact. Uh, also, my team is pretty crappy because the, the setup, because I've just been, you know, playing around with some different setups. So don't at me about it. Don't worry about it. But really, like I said, it's just kind of a one-way thing. But how you would make this work viably is by doing something like this. Let's go ahead and actually take Riveria off. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put her over here. And, well, I guess it didn't really matter because the assist didn't move with her. But really what would happen is in a scenario like this, in the perfect world, you would have access to both of them, right? Because whenever one of them would go out, you could pop in the other one. That's how a lot of people were playing in PvP. Now, that being said, I've heard that the assist kind of still sustains. And that's something we're going to test here really quick. So, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and equip this character uh, onto a weaker character like my three-star bell there. And we're going to proceed with this setup, in fact. And I want to just test it out and see if, you know, that... Let me go ahead and swap you off with her. <laughs> I wanted to see if that is something that would sustain. So here we go. She's equipped a bell. Bell's going to basically go in and just kind of lose easy. Uh, so I'm not too worried about him. And there's the other amid I was talking about. Let's go ahead and just jump into playing. Okay. So we do have Okai right here. And like I said, I actually have all of them now. I told you guys I would kind of get all of them. And I got all of them because gambling addiction. Uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and just kind of let them do what they're going to do. Okay, so I just kind of need them to target Bell. He doesn't have very much HP. As you see, though, we are getting that HP regen. This is a bit of a harder stage. Bell's going to get, you know, hit a couple of times and go down. Also, the support is so good. You know, the setup is so good for Bell that he's able to, you know, hit pretty hard, to be honest. So, anyways, as you see here, you can also hold on the units. Regen heal 6%, you know, at the start of the turn. So, it is 100% active right now. So, we're going to just do that one more time. Hopefully, Bell goes down. Okay, Bell is out, so we can see if it still activates right now. If it'll activate right now, okay, so it's still a thing. It does sustain, so you actually don't even need two of them. You just literally need one. It sustains. Now, the real question is whether or not it'll sustain through another battle, uh, battle which is what we are going to actually test. So we're going to give you that, and Riveria, uh, you can do this one. Cool. Lily's over there tripping. And Rivera is going down. It is. This is a horrible setup. This is a horrible setup. But I had to do it to make the you know the event kind of go a little bit more my way. So all right. 
I really wanted to make sure that they, you know, kind of honestly just kind of died. <laughs> so as you see, it is still active here for me. So we should take them out this round here, or we would have anyway. Next round right here we will, or not because they're asleep. Of course, should have detoxified. Forgive me. Feel free to skip ahead just a little bit. They should be good here. Stupid bunny. Okay, cool. Goodbye. All right. So now we can see if it sustains through another battle. Okay, Oka, make your way over to the next target. Mm, there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're actually going to let her do that, and we will... Uh, I can't do anything with Lily because she's asleep, but okay. Okay, so does it still sustain? It actually looks like it doesn't because they don't have the badge. Yeah, so this is why I thought you would need another one, and I was right. Uh, it's funny because I went from, no, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. So it would apply for the duration of that battle but it would you know turn off basically here now that would be really good it's in fact a lot better in something where you don't have to go through prolonged battles it's kind of just one long battle like a war game for example uh that would be really good there but nonetheless i just wanted to kind of make sure that you guys were aware that there is a incredible assist character available right now i don't know how good she is in terms of like what we will get down the line if you've played the japanese version of the game for example but she is definitely worth it and if you don't want to min max her by going ahead and uh, getting the additional uh, bonds for her to limit break her you don't have to necessarily i would recommend it because like i said the two percent could be the difference between saving your butt and you losing but nonetheless She's just here, you know. Make sure you guys get her done. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new for more content. I'll catch you all in the next Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. Have an awesome day, and take it easy, guys.